About a dozen nurses associations had already in, uh, endorsed medical marijuana. Uh, as a matter of fact, I pretty much copy and pasted the, the Wisconsin State Nurses Association resolution uh, because it, um, I, I just happen to like that particular one. And uh, but the uh, the nurses were very um, you know they took it very seriously. They they it took them about a year to endure it to. Uh, uh, to approve it, they 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 uh, submitted the resolution to their resolutions committee, and, I, and then I met frequently with the resolutions committee, and we hammered out the various language of it, and you know we looked at all the science that supported the medical marijuana resolution, and um, you know then finally uh, we came up together with the, me and the resolutions committee came up with the kind of language that they thought would be most acceptable to the nurses in New Jersey. Over 100,000 RNs there are in New Jersey. Oh, wow. So, you know, we, we are, we are, RNs are the largest healthcare uh, organization in the country, and we're the most trusted organization in the oh, country, yeah. the most prof trusted profession in the country, uh, year after year, according to Gallup polls. And so, well, part of the reason is that, uh, you know, we, uh, it's our job to uh, to assess patients and to identify their needs and to and to try to meet those needs and to advocate for the patient's rights. Yes. Uh, you know, to come out and whether it means you know going to the head nurse or the head doctor or the hospital administrator or or the elected officials. Yeah. You know, to to advocate for what what our patients need. So you know, in, in the spirit of doing that, we we, we studied the resolution uh, very closely, and and we uh, the nurses uh, voted to endorse it at their at one of their annual conventions in 2002. So uh, that was very heartwarming, and um, and and not only did they just endorse it, but they actively participated in the legislative process with their lobbyists. So the State Nurses Association testified at every hearing here in the state house. That's powerful. You know, in in, in support of that. Sorry. No, no. It's powerful. It's good stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so um, I'm, I'm looking forward, though, to, uh, to Monday. Monday Monday's going to be fun, uh, 420. Uh, so I know there's a couple different events going on, um, but specifically here um, in Trenton. Now, we have uh, – what, what are we doing? We're going to start at 8 in the morning, and then we're going to – be here till about 3.30, give or take, and then we're going to go to uh, uh, Mill Hill Park. Mill Hill Park. And uh, we're going to you know, have a good time out there, too. Yeah, supposedly there are bands coming. Uh, there's going to be music. and, um, and Yeah, it's going to be a full day of activity. The problem is that it's looking like rain right now, Ricky. So yeah. I'm not yeah. sure how much that's going to impact the, uh, the events of the day. So, but we have our canopy here, so the CMMNJ canopy. So you know, we expect to have that, and uh, not sure where, not sure where we're going to be setting up yet. Whether we'll be in, at the State House or we'll be at Mill Hill Park. So, okay. Okay. So, so. yeah, that's going to be uh, that's going to be a good time. Uh, everybody around that's uh, listening, please um, check us out. Uh, you know, we have the coalition. You can go onto Facebook. Uh, you can go onto Tuffy's fight. I, I'm I'm constantly putting up. Uh, uh, different things, Ricardo Rivera, uh, Lefty Grimes. Uh, we're always putting up these uh, different events coming up. Uh, you can check out Jim Miller, uh, Wayne Cannabis King. Okay. I didn't even notice the. Uh... Yeah, yeah, we're we're live. I'll, t I'll take the mic there if you. So anyway, thank you so much, Ricky. It's been really great talking to you. It's really, a pleasure. Uh, pleasure. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we'll have to do it again. Absolutely. <laughs> Love working with you. <laughs> you too. Cool. Can I squeeze in this seat here? Yeah. Can we switch seats? Sure. Uh, I'll take this one. Thanks, buddy. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Let's do it. Nice. Yeah, I got to do the tech stuff over here. I got to tell you, this is a really good look. This I mean, fun. the whole... It, 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 Looks great. What are you saying there, Jim? Speaking to the microphone. You got your own mic there, so you can you can talk. You can and, talk to that thing anytime you want. Yeah. Just have a seat and uh, speak up, buddy. This is a fully baked live on the internet. I went across the street to uh, where the medicating is going on with uh, patients to get a good picture of over here, framing them using their medicine legally, and you could see the proximity. Uh, to the state house. When I turned around, I was very impressed by the setup here. Uh, you can tell there's something going on live. 
Uh, it's pretty official looking and can't it's, it's be ignored. Great look. It's a great look. I love I'm, this. I must say it looks so good that the last group of students to come by, I've been informed, uh, were stopped from taking pictures. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That, you know, you're right. I, I like that you laughed and uh, Rick say yeah, that's cool because uh, really what's going to happen is, how was your day, honey? <laughs> oh, it was good, but I couldn't take pictures. Why? The camera doesn't work? No, my teacher wouldn't allow me. Well, why is that, Johnny? Right. Now we're talking. That's the whole point. <laughs> you, you can't win. There was a, a big sign with a green plant. I was trying to take a picture of it. Oh, Okay. Mm. So the, they, uh, but that's not true of all groups. I guess it's an individual chaperone decision. But last week, I believe it was, uh, they were coming over saying hi. The teachers were letting them ask questions. Uh, we had good interaction with uh, students as well as their uh, teachers and chaperones last week. So I guess it's sort of an individual thing. A knee-jerk reaction. You see the word marijuana. See, I saw people just turn their head. And, and, and you said marijuana. And that's what we're here for. We're, we're not out here just, uh, you know, protesting and speaking up about, about everything. We're out here to educate. And that's what we've been doing uh, since last year. We come out here, we educate the public, uh, we bring awareness. Uh, a lot of them are not even aware that there is a program here in the state of New Jersey. Isn't that stunning? I find that to be true still. Uh, there are people that don't know we have a program. And... There are many people that think we actually have a program that's working. Yeah. So they either don't know it or they do know it and they think it's working. Uh, it's why we're here every week, to make sure that at least this close to the state house, they don't get away with it. Uh, we will not allow the behind closed doors as long as we're here. And so much thanks to Sativa Cross and yeah. Fully Baked Radio crew that comes with them. Uh, this will be an ongoing event, will it not, Lefty, every uh, Thursday? I think we're going to do this every week. Cool. Well, this will be a weekly thing. We're going to broadcast live on the Internet worldwide from Trenton, New Jersey, sativacross.com. I'm very excited that this is actually working. We're actually broadcasting right now worldwide. Well, we do, uh, we've been looking for uh, an actual something to officially call the Thursday events uh, that are going on that you've now joined up with and become the most visible. What do you mean cool now joined? What do you mean now joined up? This with? is your first broadcast. Oh, our first broadcast. Yeah. Okay. I mean, now that you've officially come here, <laughs> doing your thing at the same place, we're doing our thing because it's the same thing we're doing. Yeah. And uh, it just brings a really recognizable presence. Yes. Uh, it, yes. It, gives it an air of legitimacy that it should have for oh so many other reasons. What do you, what do you mean an air of legitimacy? Well, because his saying the word marijuana it sounds like a, a, if we're being stopped, that uh, kids are not able to take pictures of us. Yeah. It's because it doesn't have the air of legitimacy to the chaperone. Yeah, we should use the word cannabis. Well, actually. the reason I use uh, the word medical marijuana here is we don't have a medical cannabis program. We have a medical marijuana program. So we have a racist program here. Yes. Yeah, so the, wow. Right, the, the second M in Kuma, uh, the Compassionate Use Medical Marijuana Act or Compassionate Use Medical Marijuana Law, is what the health department has, a medical marijuana press. So if that's what they call it, uh, I put that on the signs, but if you'll notice, I do try to refer to it as medical cannabis when explaining it. Yeah, it should be called medical cannabis because marijuana is a racist term. If you look up the word marijuana, it comes from, the, well, it comes from a, a racist background from uh, Mexico, but also Harry Anslinger is the uh, first drug czar. Rotten piece, by the way. Yeah, and he, uh, <laughs> he basically used his racism to make marijuana Well, that was a fear. This, was, this is going back to the late 30s, early 40s, are yeah. we talking about? Yeah. Well, there was certainly fear from below the border, uh, as much as there is uh, racial misunderstandings. Uh, when I say misunderstandings, uh, certain stereotypes that were certainly propagated during the 40s, uh, both for Hispanics and for people of color. Well, I happen to like the, the song Cucaracha, La Cucaracha. <laughs> I no, happen I, to like We're that. not that bad. Well, the reason why people don't consider it racist <laughs> anymore, <laughs> they don't consider it racist anymore because uh, the, the racism that existed then is not to that level that is now. It'll never be extinguished, of course, but... Never. 
Um, sometimes if I use the word medical cannabis, people think I'm trying to sound fancy and smart. You are fancy and smart, Mr. I know, Jim but Miller. I try not to <laughs> sound that way. I, I want to be one of the people. You can't help it. Sorry. Too late. Yeah, so, uh, but it duly noted we are trying. And along those lines, you know, um, we do have a bill for recreational purposes. Now, when I heard myself uh, on a video and also read, as I referred to it in um, a letter to the editor, I referred to it as legalizing it for social purposes. And it had such a nice ring for it. Uh, I don't drink recreationally. I drink socially. So I like to refer to myself as uh, consuming cannabis socially as well, illegal as it is. I'm not a patient, but I've made no bones about it that that is my uh, drug of choice, if there is such a thing. Okay. I'm well, just, interaction with the crowd. It's I, okay I, if you're breaking the law because, uh, like the sign says, uh, good you know good people break bad yeah. laws. Well, if it's somebody wants law. to call me a crim uh, criminal, I would object. If they want to call me an outlaw, they can pat me on the back and we can agree. You're okay. an outlaw. <laughs> well, I, I live outside the law in that respect, but people who know me would would beg me not to change that. Um, sometimes uh, imbibing having some vodka, as I like to do, uh, is not my best choice, and it leaves me feeling bad later. Uh, not in, so, not in so the morning with, with a headache. Unlike yeah. cannabis, you don't wake oh. up with a headache. It yeah. actually relieves it, so. it, it. I wake up fine. Yeah. And having had <laughs> catastrophic injury to both feet three years ago, I'm no stranger to extreme amounts of pain, although it not like it was. As much as I had heard everybody talk about it as an analgesic and people I love and trust, and I know it to be true, I never had to use it for pain myself. And when I got out of the hospital after one of four lengthy stays, uh, at one point I hadn't had cannabis for 29 days, having uh, injections of Dilaudid instead. And when I got back with little five milligram Percocets and I had one of them and a little cannabis, it kicked Dilaudid's ass. It was just so gone. And at one point I was uh, what would be called socially uh, consuming cannabis and I realized my feet didn't hurt anymore. I, it was a byproduct. So I'm sure I'm nowhere near in a small group of people who do understand the physical analgesia that cannabis can provide by itself but also in synergy with opiates. I've been asked to hold on. Yeah, I'm that was good. Oh, we have a question here. I'm sorry. What's your name again? John. John. John, grab the mic. Ask your, ask your question. You can ask Jim, too. Yeah. Uh, you guys are talking about, uh, like, breaking some of the myths with, around marijuana over the years. And I was told this week at work, talking to my boss, that mar uh, medical marijuana is processed differently than regular marijuana. Could you guys comment on that? I think it is because they need set certain levels of uh, THC or CBD. So I think it is processed differently, correct? Yeah. Uh, it's monitored maybe more quickly than certainly uh, uh, other forms where you may buy it, and it's more quantitatively assessed, at least they lead you to believe that. Uh, actually, that's one of the reasons for saying we will still need a medical marijuana program even if and when legalization happens because they will be able to make products that may not sell on the shelves to adult consumers to where it would be profitable for them or they may not have the same assessment capabilities nor need to for the general public. So I, I think one day uh, medical dispensaries and uh, other avenues of legal acquisition for adults will uh, coincide. Yeah, they need the high CBD strain. If you're talking about high CBD, yeah, they do, they do um, test for that to keep high levels of that, and then it's a low THC also. I prefer a hybrid of high THC, high CBD, which is the blueberry from uh, Julio, Greenleaf Compassion Center. Monthly. Julio. So th this, this next uh, segment is sponsored by Greenleaf Compassion Center <laughs> in Montclair, who just sold me a quarter ounce of medical marijuana yesterday for $129. Plus tax, or was that included? That was tax? my Social Security discount. But was that what was the uh, sales tax? One twenty nine. It was uh, totally, totally designed to fail. That's that would, ridiculous. That'd be one hundred and twenty plus nine. Normally, it's one hundred and thirty nine. That's crazy. I got a ten dollar discount because of my social security. How long does that last you? Uh, it's gone already. 
Yeah. How long ago was that? You uh, I bought it last night. <laughs> well, he's in pain. It was I a mean, big blunt, man. Yeah, yeah. It was a fatty. He's, a, he's in pain. Though. I hang out with Wayne Cannabis King. Wayne Cannabis King smokes so much marijuana, I have to smoke twice as much just to keep up with him. Look at him. He's still Look smoking. At him. Look at him. He's Look at that guy now. over there. He's <laughs> wasted right now. He's over <laughs> at sm- And Hey, get over the cone. You're on the wrong side of the cone there, Mr. Cannabis King. You're on the wrong side of the cone, sir. You have to be on the other side of the cone. If you the- are looking down and you see you're on something white, you're breaking the law. Yes, yeah, sir. You're- if you look and you see reddish bricks... Yes. You're on state so property you, and you're fine. You must follow the Kuma guidelines and stay on the marijuana side of that cone. The police set up a cone for your safety because they have a sense of humor also. A traffic cone. A traffic cone, which is pretty hysterical if you've been watching us the last year in this place. Well, uh, let's talk about like some of the, the, the relief that you're getting. Uh, I mean, what's the difference for you, Lefty, as, as far as... Uh, I'm when not getting relief. I'm getting uh, a different method of t- controlling my, my pain. But even Oxycontin couldn't control my pain. So uh, I'm using medical marijuana just to take the edge off, but I still have horrible pain right now. People that don't know what Oxycontin is, uh, very powerful, narcotic, very addictive. Horrible. Uh, destroys people. Kills them. Yes. Um, I wasn't, I wasn't even abusing my Oxycontin. I was, my, my doctor was abusing me. I was taking 90 milligrams every three hours. That's crazy. Which is insane. Some people don't take that in a day. I was taking that every three hours. And the doctors told me I would never get off uh, Oxycontin. I'd be on Oxycontin the rest of my life. I would be on antidepressants. They were going to start me on all this other crap. I said, no, man. What about medical marijuana? So my doctor actually didn't agree with my medical marijuana. He tested me. He says, uh, you're on medical marijuana. I mean, you're on marijuana. You have to... Uh, you have to go to rehab. So they put me in rehab for marijuana. <laughs> I was there too. I do rehab. And they put me on Suboxone. I didn't to know manage him. my pain. Who's he? They put me on Suboxone. Never That's crazy. And when I got out of rehab, I went back on my Roxycodone. So what was the point of, you know, and, and what's funny about it is we're going to make a video about this, so how to get off opiates using marijuana. The video that the doctors and the pharmaceutical companies do not want you to see is what we're going to make. How to get off opiates using medical marijuana. You already saw a teaser of it of me and Chuck sitting in the bathroom helping me with my constipated uh, problem. Well, we're going to make a whole nice video. And we're going to have you on the toilet, Wayne. How would you like that? Would you like to sit on the toilet for the next video about constipation? As long as you're not in there with me. Okay, because opiates cause constipation. Medical marijuana does not cause constipation. Well, I, I don't know. It cures constipation. Hold on. Marijuana cause, hold on, hold on. cures a lot of things. What is constipation? Constipation is when you eat a lot of opiates and your, your poop gets all balled out. Well, I, actually, they do make depositories, though, uh, out of cannabis. You're I don't not know talking about crickets now. No, 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 no. Okay. This, is, this is real, legit uh, depositories for, for, uh, for patients uh, that have constipation. Are you telling Chuck he's not legit? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it, are you using... Uh, Cannabis uh, depositories? Uh, or? I'm not Chuck. <laughs> yeah. Don't get it twisted. Let's call Chuck. Don't get it twisted. Let's give Chuck a call. Let's find out what Chuck Chuck's doing. Crickets. We have to make a phone call. This is a radio show. It's about time we made a phone call, so let's call Chuck. You guys talk. I'll get Chuck on the line here. I, I don't know. I you were going to say something. I'm sorry. I interrupted no, no, you with no, my no, silliness. No, no, no. I'm an just, idiot. I was just messing with uh, Wayne. Don't but. agree with me, you idiots out there. <laughs> So let's talk about cannabis. Talk about more cannabis and more fun stuff with cannabis. I got questions to ask you for your article, for for the article. Oh, I saw that with you and Poe. How is it dealing with Poe? Isn't he a pain in the ass to deal with? Nah, he's awesome. No, come on, don't be nice. <laughs> he's awesome. No, very compassionate, very supportive of well, yeah. what we've been doing. But uh, yeah, but but I'm talking about how he smelled. He smelled kind of bad. <laughs> the guy doesn't shower ever, and he's a little weird. I, I wasn't that close to him to notice. I, I, that's, I, that's what I figured. I, <laughs> you can't really get too close to that guy. Okay, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I love Poe, too. But shout out to Poe. He's yeah. in uh, Denver right now. Yeah, lucky bastard. Getting ready to enjoy he, uh, the 420 there. He's going to miss the big party here, but we can't talk about the big party here, can we? Why not? Ooh, you have a golden ticket. You got a golden ticket? Yes. Oh. Yes. You do? I, yes, yes, oh, yes, yes, yes. Word. Yeah. Yeah, Tuffy's she's a uh, a benefactor to that evening, I believe. Yes, she is. Uh, That's true. That's true. Yeah, shout out to everybody uh, organizing that for Tuffy. We can't talk about that. But there will be a music video. We are making a music video about that event (laughs) with Susio. 
Sucio. Sucio. <laughs> Sucio Gonzalez. So, uh, how's the uh, article? It's going good. It's going good. It's, uh, I don't know, man. It's kind of sad. Yeah. Because it's, it's sad because, bro, to be honest with you, I don't see how you stay in Jersey. I know. That's what uh, we've been talking about. It's like, that's kind of like the, I'll show you, I'll show you what I, I I'm on, before I do anything, I always show the people first. Sure, sure, sure. And uh, it's like the thing, my ending is like the conundrum. The big conundrum is, do you stay in New Jersey where it's supposedly, quote unquote, medical marijuana that, that it's really, you can get, you can get the marijuana that your daughter needs. You're going to pay an arm and a leg plus tax. Yeah. Or you can go to a country, uh, country, or you can go to a state where marijuana is legal and they actually know a little bit something about it. It's more of a medical program with dosage and okay. uh, milligram. And Here we go. You know, it's like, do you stay here and play doctor? It's or hard. do you go and have the doctors play doctor? Well, well not only doctor, I'm playing pharmacist, I'm playing doctor, I'm playing Chucky, father, I'm playing... Hey, hey, can you, all right, Chucky, can you hear us? What? Hey, Chucky, can you hear us, Chucky? Chuck, Chuck. Ch Chucky, you're on the uh, you're on the air on Fully Baked Radio. <laughs> no so, uh, swear. Please uh, watch your language. Sean Mendez comes on at five. Like two thousand kids are going for free. Well, that sounds like fun. Are you going to smoke up at the Woodbridge Mall? No, I'm just going to drop off. It is a good idea for that. The Woodbridge Mall. Woodbridge Mall. Right, I'm down to like less than a gram. It's on my way home. You're down to less than a gram of marijuana? Maybe tomorrow I'm going to hook up. Uh, have, you gone to, have you gone to the dispensary and tried the shake sale? I went, yeah, I bought some shake at uh, Montclair. It was horrible. Oh, that's why it was cheaper? From Montclair, what do you think? <laughs> no, because I bought shake at Woodbridge, and the guy that sold it to me told me that it's not all shake, it's not even mostly shake, that they actually have to make it because they needed more shake. Like, they're, they're just grinding up regular butt. Yo, yo, hold on a second here. That's so So expensive. you're saying there's a sale at the Garden back, State Dispensary? I'm a fucking quarter of shake, man. Yeah. How much is a quarter of their shake? How much, how much is a quarter of their shake, Chuck? Sixty-five. $65. Sixty-five dollars? Sixty-five I got to go see 65, you guys. At Garden State Dispensary? Well, you can only get two of them. There's At always Garden a buck. Right All right, Chuck, we got to go. We got to pack up our equipment, man. <laughs> we got to pack up, bro. Thanks, bro. Thanks for the tip. We're going to take uh, GSD. All right, buddy. Bye. I'm going to put him out of business. $65 quarters. Wow. I didn't hear that. He must be high. I think he's high. He must have screwed he's, that up. Yeah, he doesn't $65 know. $65 quarters. He doesn't know what's no, going on. No, I think on. it's an eighth. Yeah, probably a gram. I, I've never seen him sell anything less than a quarter. Yeah. Uh, oh, wow, no, now oh, yeah. I got to go. Now I'm all, I got to go. That's true. i never seen him uh, with less than a quarter. Uh, I get a quarter for a toughie, uh, too, for 75 though. Of shake. You get a quarter for Tuffy for 75 Yeah. They don't give it to the kids? No. Because they, they, didn't they promise they were going to give the kids the edibles that we're still waiting on? Well, yeah. Uh, I actually have to, like I said earlier, play pharmacist. Um, so we're making edibles, too, for her. Wow. At least, well, $75 a quarter. Still. Still expensive. I mean... I'm, play, I'm paying five thirty-five a month though for for actual bud. Uh, you have sign. For, Steve oh. has it up there. Five thirty-five an ounce. Yeah, of high CBD. Um, well, half high CBD and the other half is uh, high THC. Cause Tuffy needs THC, and that's another thing I try to tell parents all the time. Don't limit yourself. Don't let these Republicans buy you out with this oh. with this BS. Uh, Hold on. Uh, uh, CBD only. Oh, Jesus. 
Lefty. Hold I thought on, you sorry. said no bong. I'm sorry. Bong and a blint, Scooby. Hi, hi, Graham. Can you hear me? He just That's right, grandson. <laughs> hey, hey, Graham. What are you doing? We're live on the air in Trenton. How you doing? I'm I'm going to come here. You want me to come there? Why? Huh? Why do you want me to come there? What's the matter? Just come and talk to me. Okay, I'll do that. Why? Well, what's Okay. Hey, where's your boyfriend? Where's your boyfriend? Where's your boyfriend? You have a boyfriend there. I want to know his intentions. Yeah, I, there's a guy there. He sat with you at lunch. He was checking you out. I saw him checking you out. What's his name? John? John? What's his name? John? Yeah, yeah. He's a worker, all right. He's working you. Hold on. There's an ambulance going by. It's, I know it's not you. At least I know it's not you. You're on the phone. Thank God. We're coming to see you, Grandma. There's ambulances coming, but they're not coming for you, I don't think. I'll come see you. Why? You, do you think the end is near? This is the end. What's, what are you doing? What's Teresa? Is, isn't Teresa taking care of you? What the hell is she doing over there? Grandma wants you to come. Where's Teresa? What, is she sleeping again? Where's Teresa, your aide? What, is she sleeping? No. Is she drinking? No. Are you drinking? No. Okay, you want me to bring you some booze? All right, I'll bring you some medical marijuana. Thanks, thanks, Don. And I don't smoke you don't smoke marijuana, you said? No. Say it again. I don't smoke marijuana. <laughs> she takes the uh, anal suppository and I don't version. <laughs> Do you want a suppository, Graham? They make ma they make marijuana suppository. Grandma. Hey, gr uh, Grandma, they make suppositories with marijuana. No. <laughs> I don't want any. It's painless. It's painless and it's I better. Well, Grandma, I got I gotta, I gotta, I got <laughs> something to tell you. That balloon I brought over, remember that balloon I brought over? That wasn't to test your lungs. Hey, did you tell Grandma about, you know, you're pregnant? Yeah, Graham. Grandma, hey, Grandma, tell that guy, whoever that guy is trying to hit on you, that you can't get pregnant anymore. I don't know what he's trying to do with you. What's, her in, what's his intentions with you? What, that guy, John, the guy that sits with you at dinner. What are his intentions with you? Yeah, what's his name? I don't know his name. He's your boyfriend. I don't know. You tell me. What's his name? I don't know. All right. This is getting uncomfortable, Graham. You, you usually you're funny on the air. You come on, be funny. <laughs> Grandma, you need to be funny. Come on, start now, right now. Go, be funny. Ready? Go. Be funny, Graham. Come on, go. Right now. What'd you say? Oh, we're back. We're back no, to that. Lunch, okay, John. Lunch. Is that his name, John? Is his name John? Ah, yeah. uh, see, you do have a boyfriend named John. I knew it. I no, knew it. I don't have a boyfriend. You don't have a boyfriend? No. What are you playing the field? It's just, uh, oh boy. Watch out, this bucket. Is your hearing aid in? You have a hearing aid. Yes, put Teresa on. Put Teresa on. Everybody says hi, Graham. We love you. Everybody says hi. Hello. We hope you're well. I'll come see you later. I'm coming to. Hi, Teresa. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Okay, good. You're on the air. How's Grandma doing? Yeah. 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 
Yeah, I'm on. Yeah, I'm on. She's a, who's, what's her boyfriend's name? She has a boyfriend. What's his name? Nobody boyfriend. Nobody boyfriend. That guy, the old guy that likes her. Okay, okay. See you later. No, no I want to know. I want to know. Teresa's smart. I want to know his intentions. Teresa's so smart. No, I don't know. No, I see you later. <laughs> what's bye, what's bye. his intentions with her? Okay, okay. Uh, somebody call me, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> The okay, other line, the other line ringing. <laughs> I got to go by. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Whoa, she's still there. No, you weren't. Are you still there? there? Did you hang up, Teresa? No, you told. Her I bye said bye bye. First. I was, I was, I was making fun of her. Yeah, well, I wasn't saying bye bye. I was imitating her. Who's laughing now? Bye bye. She hung up on you. Bye bye. I guess she wasn't drunk after all. I guess she's just taking care of Grandma pretty well. All right, I feel better now than knowing that she blew me off. And uh, that's 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 good. I feel good now. That's what she should do when I act like an idiot. When I call up doing stupid things, she should hang up the phone on me. And she did the right thing. Yeah. Thank bye, you. Bye. Thank you, Teresa. Bye bye. How are you, honey? Bye bye. So this is a medical marijuana show. I know it doesn't sound like it anymore, but it really is. We talk about medical marijuana. And uh, I'm, I'm one of the guys that goes to police stations with Wayne, and we smoke medical marijuana at all the police stations around New Jersey. Ooh, what's today? South Jersey. We've gone to South Jersey. Far? Where have we gone? South Jersey. Atlantic, Atlantic City. City. That's not really south. That's like... That's <laughs> not south. That's, that's the shore. What the are you talking about? <laughs> that's the shore. <laughs> That's the shore. You guys got to come out to Oakland. It's or three hours from us, man. Collinswood. That's a long ride. Collinswood. Yeah, I've we'll do Camden that. Once. I saw you do the little friggin' aquarium. We're going to do Camden. Yeah, there you go. Do Camden. Perfect. You, you know what? Before uh, the uh, May 3rd or May 2nd uh, uh, little event that we got going. That way they're aware. Yeah. Yeah, I want to do Camden because I want to do the, the Ben Franklin Bridge. If you guys do it, please let me know for sure. Oh, dude, you're coming. All right, cool. We're doing the Ben Franklin, Franklin Bridge. We're going to see where the border is and where we could smoke on the border. The Hanover cop gave us an answer. He says, if any part of your body is over the border, you're illegal. So it's NFL rules. I told you. It's NFL rules or soccer it's rules America. for medical marijuana. It's NFL rules. It's America. NFL rules. NFL rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that makes Fly. sense. That makes sense. I teach you everything. Well, we couldn't get an answer all these years. We've been trying to get that answer for two years, man. Philly, though, just happened to, you know. True. Child, true. child true endangerment. Though. Yeah, child endangerment. Wow. Dyphus, uh, CPS, or whatever they're called. Just blew my mind. Child Protective Services, yeah, absolutely. That opens up a whole other can of worms when you have kids involved. So that's why me and Poe, we were doing the thing on the Camden side, because he wanted me to come to Philly, and I'm like, no way, because uh, I can have the card all I want as a caregiver. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Um, I would go to jail for, like, child abuse or something crazy yes. like that. Yeah, wow. for medicating my daughter properly, by the way. You got to listen to this guy. This guy is the, the best. <laughs> this guy is awesome. Listen to this guy. $25 yeah, ticket. Yeah, right, right. They have the option of doing either. Well, DRPA. Uh, the, DARPA, the DRPA. Delaware, the yeah. South Jersey, and the Burlington, well, the Burlington, Bristol, Tacone, Palmyra have their own little one in Burlington. Yo, we need to take a ferry ride. That's disgusting. But if, they, if they're patrolled and if they're brought back into New Jersey, which the Delaware Bridge Police are, you go down. You go down Walt Whitman. I'm not going down on Walt Whitman either. You guys are turning this show into something I don't want to talk. to you. What are you talking about? I'll go. <laughs> oh, I, I heard. I heard where the border is to go smoke. If you're smoke, if you're oh, walking oh, the bridge and oh. smoking the bridge, you can smoke anywhere on that walkway. I like that. They're like, going to bring you back over to New Jersey to charge you, and what are they going to charge you with? Nothing. 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 Now they bring you over to Philadelphia. What are they going to charge you with? Twenty-five dollar ticket. ticket. Nothing. Unless you have a child that's in the program. Exactly. Unless that's a child is involved. My daughter's in the program, yes. and they decide to take us over to Philly. It's a whole different thing because we'll that see. would be like child abuse or child endangerment or something yeah. crazy 